Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we shall solve a couple of simple numerical problems on commercial efficiency of single phase transformers. Today we shall learn how to determine commercial efficiency of a transformer operating under various load conditions and different power factors when information about various losses are available. We shall also learn how to determine various losses when values of transformer efficiencies are available under different load conditions. Problem number one. A 1 kVA single phase transformer has an iron loss of 12 watt and full load copper loss of 18 watt. We have to find the full load efficiency assuming the power factor be 0 0.9. Let us first jot down the given data. Transformer rating S equals to 1 kVA that is equal to 1000 VA. Iron loss PI equals to 12 watt. Full load copper loss P copper FL equals to 18 watt. Power factor cos phi 2 equals to 0 0.9. We know that the expression for full load efficiency eta FL equals to S cos phi 2 divided by S cos phi 2 plus PI plus P copper FL that is equal to 1000 into 0 0.9 divided by 1000 into 0 0.9 plus 12 plus 18 that gives us 96.77 percent. Problem number 2. A 25 kVA 2000 volt by 200 volt 50 hertz single phase transformer has iron and full load copper losses 350 watt and 400 watt respectively. We have to calculate the efficiency at unity power factor on full load and on half full load. Let us first jot down the given data. Transformer rating S equals to 25 kVA that is equal to 25,000 volt ampere. Iron loss PI equals to 350 watts. Full load Copper loss, P copper FL equals to 400 watts. Power factor, cos phi 2 equals to 1. When I2 equals to X times I2 FL, eta equals to X times S cos phi 2 divided by X times S cos phi 2 plus PI plus X square P copper FL. Full load efficiency eta FL equals to 1 into 25,000 into 1 divided by 1 into 25,000 into 1 plus 350 plus 1 square into 400. That gives us 97.0874%. Half full load efficiency eta 8 FL equals to 0 0.5 into 25,000 into 1 divided by 0 0.5 into 25,000 into 1 plus 350 plus 0 0.5 square into 400. That gives us 96.5251 percent. Problem number 3. We have to calculate the efficiency at half load, full load and 25 percent overload for a 100 kVA transformer 
at power factor of unity and 0 0.8. The coal loss is 1000 watt and full load copper loss is 1000 watt. Let us jot down the given data. Transformer rating S equals to 100 kVA. Coal loss Pi equals to 1000 watt that is equal to 1 kilo watt. Full load copper loss P copper FL equals to 1000 watt that is equal to 1 kilo watt. When I2 equals to X times I2 FL efficiency eta equals to X times S cos phi 2 divided by X times S cos phi 2 plus Pi plus X square times P copper FL. At unity power factor and half load efficiency eta HL equals to 0 0.5 into 100 into 1 divided by 0 0.5 into 100 into 1 plus 1 plus 0 0.5 square into 1 that gives us 97.56 percent at unity power factor and full load efficiency eta FL equals to 1 into 100 into 1 divided by 1 into 100 into 1 plus 1 plus 1 square into 1. That gives us 98.04 percent. At unity power factor and 25 percent overload efficiency eta 125 percent FL equals to 1.25 into 100 into 1 divided by 1.25 into 100 into 1 plus 1 plus 1.25 square into 1. That gives us 97.99 percent. At 0 0.8 power factor and half load efficiency eta HL equals to 0 0.5 into 100 into 0 0.8 divided by 0 0.5 into 100 into 0 0.8 plus 1 plus 0 0.5 squared into 1. That gives us 96.97 percent. At 0 0.8 power factor and full load efficiency eta FL equals to 1 into 100 into 0 0.8 divided by 1 into 100 into 0 0.8 plus 1 plus 1 square into 1. That gives us 97.56 percent. At 0 0.8 power factor and 25 percent overload efficiency Eta 125% FL equals to 1.25 into 100 into 0 0.8 divided by 1.25 into 100 into 0 0.8 plus 1 plus 1 1.25 square into 1. That gives us 97.5%. If we compare full load efficiencies obtained at unity power factor and 0 0.8 power factor conditions, we find that efficiency at unity power factor is higher than that obtained at 0 0.8 power factor condition. It applies both for half load and 25% overload condition as well. Problem number 4. The efficiency of a 1000 kVA 110 volt by 220 volt 50 hertz single phase transformer is 98.5% at half load and 0 0.8 power factor leading and 98.8% at full load 
and unity power factor. We have to determine iron loss and full load copper losses of this transformer. Here we get transformer rating S equals to 1000 kVA. When I2 equals to X times I2 FL efficiency eta equals to X times S cos phi 2 divided by X times S cos phi 2 plus PI plus XS squared times P copper FL at half load and 0 0.8 power factor leading efficiency eta HFL equals to 0 0.5 into 1000 into 0 0.8 divided by 0 0.5 into 1000 into 0 0.8 plus PI plus 0 0.5 square into P copper FL that is equal to 98.5 percent therefore PI plus 0 0.25 P copper FL equals to 6.091 kilowatt at full load and unity power factor efficiency eta FL equals to 1 into 1000 into 1 divided by 1 into 1000 into 1 plus PI plus 1 square into P copper FL that is equal to 98.8 percent therefore pi plus p copper fl equals to 12.146 kilowatt by solving these two equations we get iron loss pi equals to 4.073 kilowatt full load copper loss p copper fl equals to 8.073 kilowatt. Problem number 5. A 5 kVA 1000 volt by 200 volt 50 hertz single phase transformer has the following test results. During open circuit test, instruments were connected on low voltage side. Data obtained 200 volt 1.2 ampere 90 watt during short circuit test instruments were connected on high voltage side available data 50 volt 5 ampere 110 watt we have to calculate iron losses copper losses equivalent resistance of transformer windings and efficiency at full load and 0 0.8 power factor lagging. Let us write down the given data. Transformer rating S equals to 5 kilovolt ampere that is equal to 5000 volt ampere. Value of high voltage side voltage V1 equals to 1000 volts. Value of low voltage side voltage V2 equals to 200 volts. We find that during open circuit test, low voltage side winding is connected at rated voltage and watt meter reading obtained is 90 watt. Therefore, iron loss of this transformer PI equals to 90 watts. Let us calculate the value of high voltage winding full load current. I1 FL equals to S by V1 that is equal to 5000 divided by 1000 that gives us 5 ampere. From short circuit test data we observe that during short circuit test Rated current flows through the high voltage winding and watt meter reading obtained is 110 watt. Therefore, full load copper loss of this transformer P copper FL equals to 110 watts. Again, full load copper loss 
P copper FL equals to I2 FL square REQ2 or I1 FL square REQ1. Equivalent resistance of two windings referred to high voltage side REQ1 equals to P copper FL divided by I1 FL square that is equal to 110 divided by 5 square that gives us 4.4 ohm. Now let us calculate the efficiency at full load 0.8 lagging power factor. Eta FL equals to S cos phi 2 divided by S cos phi 2 plus PI plus P copper FL. Putting values we get 5000 into 0 0.8 divided by 5000 into 0 0.8 plus 90 plus 110 that gives us 95.2381 percent. So today we have solved a couple of numerical problems on single phase transformer operating under various load conditions at different power factors. We have calculated efficiency of a transformer when its losses are given. We also have calculated various losses of a transformer when efficiencies under various load conditions are available. Hope this lecture has been useful for you. If you have any question or suggestion, please drop it in the comment section below. If you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you.